In June last year, the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council commissioned the Accra City Response Tax Force team under the Operation Clean of Frontage program. Their mandate was to ensure law and order along some principal streets of the capital. They were also to ensure that traders and hawkers do not sell at unauthorized locations. We were told, I think, 1st November 2022, that our work had been suspended to further notice. And October we worked, we didn't receive our salary. November we asked to stay home and then they will contact us. And as it stands now, from November to now, some of us have not been to work, except those who were taken to um, airports. According to some of them, four months after deployment, they were asked to go home without being paid their allowance. We were told the salary is going to range from 1000 to 1005 They're going to pay us in it. And then we're going to have our money through the um, controller. In fact, the whole of promise and then, you know, everybody wants improvement. So we felt, or personally I felt, going to do this will at least improve my life because my money I was taking from teaching field wasn't as much as I was told when I, been, uh, when I get that particular um, job. Was it not the same? It wasn't the same. In fact, right from the um, medical points, they didn't disclose anything to us. Two or three days before, before we leave the training ground, that is where we were told the actual money we were going to take. In fact, most of us were discouraged, especially myself, because when I compare the money I was told I'm going to receive when I was at the training ground to my salary I was taking when I was teaching, I realized that I've been deceived big time. Emmanuel says he was a teacher and was being paid 650 cities, but decided to join the tax force because of promises made to them. Without working, we have kids to look after them. Now they've opened, we have to buy books for them, because there's no money. So now my kids are in the house. What were you doing before you were employed as a tax force operator? I was a teacher. You should give us our money or you should call us back so we, we will start working. Because right now we are jobless, doing nothing, sitting in the house. Not even food cry, there is no food in the house, so we are, we are suffering. Ima is not alone. Agnes also quit her job as a teacher. We later visited the tax force secretariat, but there was no one to speak to. This is the official secretariat of the Operation Clean of Frontage Tax Force. We've been here trying to get some explanation as to what exactly is happening with the operations of the tax force. Unfortunately, we've been directed to go to the Regional Coordinating Council to seek any information. We've tried making phone calls to the Regional Coordinating Council. We've been redirected to come back here again, and the secretariat is not ready to speak to us anytime soon. So as it stands right now, the hopes of the tax force being called back to work from October till now is still hanging. Neither do they know when their four months arrest salary is going to be cleared. Joseph Armstrong, Good Alibi TV3, Accra.